Hi guys, I'm Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Hi there, hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for joining me, so glad you can make it. So today I'm gonna to be doing another book review of the most recent book that I read, which was Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. If you have not checked out my other book reviews, make sure you go do that so you can stay up to date with what I am currently reading. So let's dive right into it. So I just wanna say that this review may contain some spoilers Actually, it will contain spoilers. So if you have not read Pet Cemetery yet or you don't like spoilers, then perhaps don't watch this. However, if you just wanna see my initial review and you don't care about spoilers or you already have read the book, then keep watching. All right, so with Pet Cemetery, this is actually my very first Stephen King book. I have never um, read Stephen King before, so this was a real treat for me to dive into my first one. Some of you are probably thinking, wow, starting with Pet Cemetery, that is quite bold. But I don't know, I just wanted to jump right into it. I have not seen the movie to Pet Cemetery, but I heard that it was quite scary and I wanted a good spooky book for Halloween. We'll get into the spookiness of this book uh, later. But yeah, I just wanted to get right into Pet Cemetery. I went into this completely blind. I knew a little bit about Pet Cemetery, but Really didn't know much about the story, so let's get into the overview. So the story focuses on Dr. Lewis Creed and his family who moved to this very small town called Ludlow, Maine. It is here in Ludlow, Maine where they come across another character, his name is Judd Crandall, I believe, and his wife, they befriend them, they're like neighbors. And in this particular town, right in their backyard actually it's this these woods and in these woods there is this place called pet cemetery or the pet cemetery so it is this rumor legend myth that goes around story that's you know told that if your pet dies you can essentially bury them that same day and then that night or the following day they will come back alive so we can see that Lewis deals with this when he buries his cat, Church, um, and that cat returns back, but very strange. The cat returns back and it's not exactly the cat. Is it the cat or is it something else? And then we also can see what happens when his son who tragically dies and then he buries his son. So it's about this weird pet cemetery and things that occur in and around it and the fact that the effect that it has on the people in the town. Right, so the story is essentially, or the book itself is around almost 400 pages. I think it's like 398, 300, it's like 398 pages. So pretty much a 400 page book. It is quite lengthy and it definitely reads that way. So this is not a quick read in my opinion. It is a bit of a heftier read. Um, there are a lot of details that you have to go through to really get to the meat of the story. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a chunky book, <laughs> story-wise and length-wise as well. Um, and that leads me into my next topic, which are the characters. Those things do not relate at all, but the characters. So I really did like the characters um, in the story. I liked Dr. Lewis Creed, although I thought that he and the story really does focus mostly on him and I thought that kind of going into his inner working of his mind was really interesting. I, I did like his character. Um, I thought that he was really interesting, especially at, you know in the end part of the book where he is kind of going off the rails and essentially going crazy um, because of his the death of his son. And um, I liked seeing the impact of that and how he dealt with the pet cemetery and how his beliefs started off not as strong in the pet cemetery and then as the story goes you know throughout we see how that belief gets stronger and how he once thought the pet cemetery only worked for pets we obviously see that mentality shift and change as the story continues. I also did like Judd Crandall in the book. I thought that when they first introduced him in the story I initially thought that he was gonna be like a bad guy or some kind of shifty character, but it also, but it actually turned out that he was a pretty solid character. He did have a little bit of a past. 
he was the one that knows like the dark secrets and everything um but i would say he probably was my favorite character in the story um i really liked when he was telling of the the history about the pet cemetery so i will say lewis and judd were pretty much the heavy hitters in the book for me and then the daughter was really cute wish we had a little bit more from her perspective but oh well <laughs> so was this scary or not no um i did not think this book was scary at all i remember you know thinking or at least thinking back on the movie and seeing the trailer to it like oh my gosh that looks super intense and very scary i didn't get this in the book the only parts that i really thought were chilling or scary were towards the very very end like i'm talking about the last like 50 pages in the book that's where it got remotely like scary or creepy to me but outside of that i slept fine at night um <laughs> i didn't have any nightmares i really did not think that it was scary at all like i read through it and i was like hmm okay so was not scary to me now i will say i've not seen the movie and i definitely want to see it now that i have read pet cemetery i'm sure that will be frightening and maybe i can you know kind of put the two together but overall i did not think the book was scary to me but i could definitely see how there are certain parts in the book you know where it talks about pascal pascal or pasco with him like resurrecting and then when the sun came back and like killed everybody i can definitely you know see how that can be very frightening but to me it just wasn't scary um i will say that i do not scare easily so especially when it's when i'm reading a book so maybe movies are a little bit different because you can see it you know in front of your face but as for reading i don't scare that easily um yeah so wasn't scary for me Right, so my overall rating of this book, oh my gosh, I feel like Stephen King fans are going to literally hate me after this, but I thought the book was terrible. I did not like this book at all. I didn't even enjoy it. I was counting down the pages until I could just put this down and not read it. I just thought that it was so incredibly boring. I thought that it was so detailed with so many things in the book where I was just like, do we really need to know that? Like really, really, let's just get to the, to get to the chase. Let's get to the, the bread and butter. So I found this book really boring for me. I just thought it was inundated with details that we really didn't need. And I've heard that Stephen King is quite detailed in his books and that's fine. I, I Details are good, but when it's just really dull, I just thought that overall it was, a very dull book and I know there are fans of Pet Cemetery, and I am so sorry oh man I am so sorry but I really just did not like this book would I recommend this absolutely not I mean if you want to be bored bored out of your skull maybe I just I just didn't like it yikes like, it was just not good to me um, I will say that of course I want to read other Stephen King novels. I will not say this does not turn me away from reading Stephen King. Obviously he is Stephen King. You know, he is a living legend and he writes, I heard incredible books. So maybe this this one just wasn't the one for me. Um, I heard Misery is a good one. So I think I'm gonna read that one next by him. It just was Pet Cemetery was not the one, was just not the one for me personally. I really, did not like this. I thought it was incredibly boring. I just was not entertained. I thought this was gonna be an entertaining book and I just didn't get it. And I don't wanna rant too long about it, but didn't, didn't like it. Sorry, sorry Stephen King fans. I just was not for me. So <laughs> let's get into my rating of this book. I gave Pet Cemetery a 2.5. And uh, some of you may think, wow, that is really harsh, damn. But I really just did not like it. And I will say that I think I talked about this in a previous video where I was really excited about this book and reading it. And I was enjoying it at one point in time. And that was the very beginning of the book. Little did I know that deeper into the book, I would be bored to tears reading this. Um, 
yeah, so that's why I gave it a 2.5 is because I really didn't enjoy it. I thought there were so many details in this book that really were not needed. I mean, the history of the Pet Cemetery was grit was good, and I think that we do need that. But some of the other things, like day-to-day -day details, I was like, whoa, this is a lot. And let's just get to the meat and potatoes, you know? I don't know, but wasn't a fan. I will say that the character development was great. So again, I really liked Dr. Lewis Creed in this. I liked Judd Crandall. I liked the daughter. What was her name? Ellie? El was it, El is it Ellie? I think it's Ellie. Elsie? Ellie. Ellie, no? I can't find it. I can't find her name, but I think it's, <laughs> guys, I think it's Ellie. Um, I liked the little girl. I wish we had seen a little bit more from her perspective because I thought she was so interesting and I really wanted to get into her mind and how things were working but yeah I mean outside of the characters being really interesting I just was not engaged in the book and I think that's where it fell off for me uh, really just didn't do it for me so it, it, it gets a 2.5 great so that was my overall view of the book I know this is probably really short due to me not really liking it. Again, I don't wanna to rant too much about me not liking it. You probably would rather hear, <laughs> hear me talk about a book that I did enjoy. Um, again, I mean, if you are a fan of Stephen King um, and you don't care about those details, then pick this up. But for me, it just was a miss. Um, I am definitely interested in reading other Stephen King books. So if you know of a good one, definitely feel free to comment below. Let me know what your favorite Stephen King book is. Um, it's interesting because I actually went back on Goodreads and just to look at other people's review of this book and there were a lot of mixed reviews so I'm glad that I'm not the only one that really didn't like this. There were a lot of people that also found that the book was incredibly boring and just had way too many like details so um, yeah maybe I'm not the last person to think this so that's that's encouraging. Anyway, let me know what you guys are currently reading right now. Is it a Stephen King book? Have you read this? What did you think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you stay up to date with all of my videos. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video and all of my videos that I have. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram so you can stay up to date with everything that I post. Let me know what you guys are reading. I'm curious to hear, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!